In Kentucky, it is not very common for a long and cold enough freeze to occur during wheat flowering to damage the crop. In general, we think that a temperature of 30 degrees Fahrenheit or less for two or more hours can result in damage during flowering. During anthesis, also known as flowering, freeze damage will be the most severe to the developing wheat flowers themselves. A wheat flower is a perfect flower. That means it contains both the male and female reproductive structures in a single flower. The male portion of the flower are the anthers. There are three anthers per floret. When immature, the anthers are shiny, bright green, and smooth. Once pollen is mature and ready to be shed, the anthers turn yellow, but typically remain firm and smooth. The female portion of the flower, which is the most prominent, is the stigma. Just prior to fertilization, the receptive stigma is white and feathery. When freeze damage occurs during flowering from about Feeks 10.51 to 10.53, it can kill the anthers. This can result in the anthers appearing white and sterile, or those anthers can remain yellow, but appear wrinkled and shriveled. Neither of these damaged anthers produce pollen. This can result in sterile plants that do not produce any kernels at all. Damaged anthers are much more difficult to detect than Kentucky's more typical frozen head symptomology. Freeze damaged heads are typically severely bleached and almost white. This can be seen here on barley. Typically, these symptoms occur when wheat is heading during the freeze, which is about Feeks 3 to about Feeks 10.5. Other typical Kentucky freeze damage include, includes deformed heads. This damage generally occurs when wheat is approximately at joining Feeks 6 to about flag leaf Feeks 9 when the freeze occurred. Anther damage has the potential to be very devastating to final grain yield and possibly go unseen due to the subtle symptoms as compared to the striking bleached and deformed heads that is more typical in Kentucky. For additional information and resources, please visit our websites. For up to the minute notifications, please follow me on Twitter. This has been Carrie Knott at the University of Kentucky. Thank you.